You ever seen any potatoes like that? No. Purple ones? Purple? Nope. Me neither. Moving around. Kinda like an old olive oil based uh, fried potato with uh, stuffed peppers today. We'll see how it goes. See if it don't make nobody sick. From everything I hear, it always goes well. Yeah. Well, I've had a couple of mishaps. What you're going to witness here is something that used to happen, I believe, a long time ago. We're going to have Chris talk a little bit more about that, but it's kind of a lost art. It used to be a culture of NASCAR, something that went on a lot and doesn't happen anymore. So one of the ad additional duties of the hauler driver is that they used to cook. I mean, we already clean, we already unpack, we pack all the housekeeping, but on top of that, they'd cook, not just for the truck drivers. We have each one of these trucks has a race car in it with a crew of you know 10 to 12 people that are associated with it and so the truck driver used to cook well as time has gone on and money's become more free or whatever almost all these trucks that you saw parked each one of them caters and has their team fed but we got the Carolina Cruiser the Carolina Flash the Carolina Shiner. Ghost Pepper the Carolina Shiner so many good names that go with Carolina so you guys we're gonna have a little chat with Chris as he cooks here. We're gonna see what's going on. We're gonna learn a thing or two. You tell us right now. And I'm sure are some good looking taters. Woo. I was just telling Jax, you ever seen a purple potato? And I said, I've never seen a purple potato. They call me tater salad. Inside and out. They used to call you tater salad? How'd you morph from tater salad to razorback? You. <laughs> <laughs> Learning to cook uh, back when I was a kid, my mom and Grandma, back in North Carolina, my hometown, Elkin, Jonesville area, uh -huh. uh, had a restaurant, and it was a family restaurant, home, home cooked meals, uh, the whole spiel. The mom and pops are getting run out, and you know, this is the way society is. So I hung out there a lot, waiting on my dad to get home from the truck driving job. My dad hunted produce for, whew, since I was born, for a company out of Winston-Salem. He drove for that man for 15 years and he finally decided to buy his own truck and still work for that man, just leased his truck on with him. Uh, we didn't have a garden growing up because every Sunday or Saturday or whenever he'd get back, there would be all your vegetables, your fruit. They said, well, we don't need a garden, I'm hauling it. You know, it gets stuff get turned down from the, you know, it wasn't quite right for the Supermarkets, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I've done the same thing. Watermelon, <laughs> the oranges, everything. So, you know, get home from school. Uh, my other siblings would too. Um, go help to be the grandma, the aunts, and the sisters. And so it was the, like legit family. It was a legit family, yep. I mean, sure everybody was. Everybody was in it. Oh, yeah. And it, it, it was a very good, popular restaurant in that small town. You start paying attention to what grandma and mom's doing. Uh -huh. So you kind of pick up things. As I got older, you know, you come home, you're not married, and you get tired of the frozen the hot dinners pockets. and stuff. <laughs> so you start just playing with food. Been, I would love to go to culinary school, but I don't know what's supposed to go with what. I just started putting <laughs> things together. So you just kind of go with what feels right. What feels right uh -huh. and what, if it don't taste right, well, you just throw it away and start over the next day or the next week or whatever. So yeah, they ran they ran that restaurant for I'd say 15 years. The economy, you know, kind of took a toll. Now it's a dollar store, Dollar General, whatever they call them now. I think we got enough potatoes. You think enough? I think this might be enough for 12 people. It was purple on the outside, but it's purple on the inside, and that's new. You could trick me that it was a beet. You could, I would. and it might be, but it says. <laughs> Baby potatoes. Beets. Potatoes. <laughs> you know? So that's the kind of the background. Yeah. You spent a lot of time around the restaurant. You did. And then the trucking came in because your dad trucked. Yeah. And that's something you uh, always wanted to oh, do. Oh, yeah. I was, uh, actually, I remember it just like it was yesterday. I was seven years old, eight ish, seven. And uh, my mom finally. We feed that one to raise her back. <laughs> <laughs> my mom finally agreed. To let me go with dad. I've loved it ever since and 
I mean, ever since that day, I knew exactly growing up uh, what I was going to be doing. So this is what's interesting. You learned a separate skill in cooking. Right. You learned a separate skill in trucking. Trucking. And you guys, Chris spent, like you said, you pretty well 30, 30 years. Uh, I started driving, you know, when I was legally be able to. <laughs> yeah. In 1993, <laughs> okay. I turned 21. So that's your official legal That's, that's my... Yeah, you know, I think the like you said, I think the statutes limitations. Yeah, run they're out. long gone. So, <laughs> you guys, what that means is that Chris started driving the second he was long enough to reach the pedals. Yes. Not a dissimilar story to me. The uh, it is. My dad would have a, a pipe or a cigar in one hand, coffee mug in the other, and I was uh, start changing gears for him. I'd sit in the doghouse and try to change gears, which beefy. Kind of nod at the back of the head where you mess up. <laughs> they should use that in trucking schools. They should bury it with a stick, right? <laughs> with, with a stick. And my dad always says, "Son, you know, trucking was fun in the '60s and '70s and early '80s." He said, "Now it's gotten so well. Everybody knows government gets too involved." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> true. I'm not regulation. Gonna... I talk about it all the time. Yes. Man. Uh, Government gets way too involved, just like with everybody in their normal lives. They won't have to know what you're doing all the time. And he's right. I guess that's one reason why he got out of it. And I've been in racing for, I'd say, 10 now. And you probably never thought that you would find a truck driving job that required the specific never. set of skills no. that you developed as a exactly. young fella. Exactly. Because everybody, uh, you were talking about you know, earlier that we used to do it, all the truck drivers basically would cook. Uh -huh. and, and that was true. And COVID hit. So NASCAR, and I get it, took away the grills for, you know, COVID reasons. NASCAR said, you know what, well, you wanna start bringing grills back? Bring the grills back. And as far as junior motorsports goes, my cohorts, they don't like cooking, but they love me cooking <laughs> love for some you. reason. <laughs> oh, Chris is cooking. Uh, we don't have to go out and buy something because guess what? Chris is cooking. Chris. Yes, the truck driver is in charge of uh, keeping food in the hauler because we got, you know, camper size refrigerators in there to hold right smart food. Yeah. Or whatever each teammate wants. Taylor Moore, the great guy he is, love him to death, my crew chief. Uh, he says, Chris, I really want you to cook. <laughs> I really, really want you to cook. Sure you did. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I'll cook. Cause I do enjoy it. I'm just rinsing some of this, rinsing some of that off. That won't go in my pan. Oh, oh you got to try one. <clears throat> it's you're good. Had a, you're from Montana. You never had a raw potato? We don't eat raw potatoes in Montana. You're oh. close to Idaho. You're oh. close to Idaho. You're close yeah. to Idaho. They're and good. That, it's not, that's not the girl. That's potatoes. <laughs> Whoa! I got a papa! Whoa! <laughs> All of a sudden I'm feeling powerful and huge! <laughs> I see the secret to your size now, my buddy. Hey, bud. Hey! Love to eat. <laughs> Chris said, I'm gonna eat a raw purple one. I've never This is yeah. what he said, because I ain't scared. <laughs> so I'm like, so if I don't eat one, that means I'm scared. You're scared. Okay, well, here we go. I think you'll like it. You don't. It's kind of, it's like crunchy, like a. Sort of like a carrot, yeah. but it doesn't really taste like a white potato. It's weird. It's, just, it's new to me. But here's. I like it. We're going to play a little prank on one of our truck driver friends over here. <laughs> His name's Mark, a.k.a. Hollywood. Now, what what about Mark? What does Mark love to do more than anything He loves in the world? just pestering anybody. Like, he's a jokester. He's, uh, like, for he's example, like the little brother. Yeah. That just won't let go of your leg. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta drag him and kick him. But he's a great, he's a great guy, awesome guy. So we're gonna, we're gonna take one of the peppers. We'll take the seeds and we're gonna put almost all the seeds out of all the jalapenos and put them <laughs> at the bottom. And then put my filling on top. And then put the parmesan, just like every other one, except for the bottom. There's gonna be a little secret, and I'm hoping it works. I hope that there's enough seeds in there to get it hot. It's gotta be that kind of just shuts him up for a little bit to where he's sweating <laughs> and his, you know, his mate can't open his mouth too much. <laughs> so that's you what guys, we're hoping for. It's going to be epic.
afraid of. What I'm afraid of is they're too big to make any heat. No heat. None. Nope. But the, the peppers, I think, are way too big. To... You know how when you get a big jalapeno, sometimes they lose their potency? Yeah, I think that's, yep. We may have run into an issue with our <sighs> prank. But I think if you get some gear oil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gear oil would work great. <laughs> Fireman, I know you got things to do. What's really going on with the van? I pinky promise I have nothing I parked the van. It. It's not my van. It's Jeff's. All right. Mm -hmm. I got my van at the hotel, so I'm not worried about it. So you went to go move it. And it was not there. And it's gone. And there's, we don't know if it was towed. It's like it was Like someone out drove it. Yep. you think it got towed or drove it? I think it drove out of there. I wonder if it and was And I think there's a guy over here in another red shirt that noticed it. All about who might have I'm gonna go it ask him because I honestly don't know. <laughs> We're gonna go see. Cut that thing off. What's really going on with the van situation? So, <laughs> so honestly, and, and when I say honestly, I mean honestly. I haven't mentioned <laughs> you. didn't do anything. Okay. Daryl, Daryl 1000% thinks that you are playing a prank on him. So I am. If one, he thinks that I know, I'm like, Daryl, I really don't I know. Am, <laughs> Either one, he looked in the wrong spot, okay. or two, he never shut it off the proper way, which is easy to do with those vans. Yeah. And they went up there to move their van, and they just got in it and drove it off. Tell you what, <laughs> stay tuned and check it out. <laughs> and you will find out. And you will find out. Big <laughs> guy, what's the update? Well, we are hollowing out our peppers, and uh, we're gonna stuff these bad boys. That's going in there. Bell peppers, rice, hamburger, diced tomatoes, and that is sausage that we're going to drain here in a second. Put some cream cheese in it and put it in our jalapenos. Now, what's the current status of our prank on Hollywood? It's sad to say the jalapenos, I guess, were too big. He does live 100%. We've been filming all the prep. Wait till he shows you this trick I taught him. He mentioned uh, something about chickens. Yep. You guys, Taylor loves chicken. <laughs> chicken man, turkey, anything poultry. Not poultry. Fish. <laughs> as soon as I find a chicken wrangler, somebody can come run a whole herd and throw a whole flock behind my cows. Behind your cows. <laughs> chicken wrangler. So, I just come over to check things out. Chris is doing a really good job, as always. So. I'm really not a micromanager, so I just kind of let him just do let his him thing. Do okay. And uh, I found out that it works best if you just stay out of his way. Are you the one that kind of decides on the menu? Well, I do. I kind of say, uh, Chris. Let's hear that one. I, I normally, how the week goes is uh, on Tuesday, I get with Chris and I say, uh, Chris, what are we having this week? <laughs> and then, What's your opinion on uh, stuffed jalapenos? Like, I'm not gonna get in the car and drive out to dinner to go get a stuffed jalapeno. Yeah. We'll eat just about anything Chris Waddell cooks. Okay. What's your heat, uh, what's your ability to handle heat? With a Bud Light, pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty good? <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it, you guys. That is straight from Hollywood himself. From the... He can handle the heat. As long as he's got a, what'd you say, got a Bud? He can handle the heat? With a Bud Light, we can handle the heat. What is your crew eating? My crew's eating hamburgers. <laughs> double, double quarter pounders off the old. I've been in there patting them out all morning. They're perfectly round. I always keep the station cleaned up a little bit. It rains. I did notice you keep your truck interior immaculate. Do I? Yeah, I don't think it's not. I don't think it's not so much. Sometimes it's like, man, you need to see what it's like inside a cattle hauler. We always got little pieces of poop on the floor. <laughs> This That's when you time. really get hungry. It's like, <laughs> can I recycle it? Can I go twice? Stuff. I think it'll work. Uh, Hollywood said he's got a couple hamburgers on the. I saw some hamburgers, brats. Um, That'll be all right. We want it. I'm trying to think what else we got in there. 
You got it all. You know what I mean? We'll probably have you though if you need something. You know, I, I feel this like I feel man. like you know we got one big team here. So you know, if somebody needs <laughs> you know something. What? Well, it covers exactly the route. That's right. That's right? exactly right. One big team. Yes. So if somebody needs something, you just go get it. Just that, go and get that's, it. that's been a point of friction lately. The team situation. <laughs> right? We're all. That's only team. on track. That's it's drivers on track. can't get it. That's Everybody, hey, listen, listen. <laughs> when it comes to the guys in the shop, when it guys that comes to the guys on the road, when it comes to the mechanics, when it comes to pit crews. They ain't, a, they ain't a group of us that are not on the same page except for the four drivers. <laughs> we can't <laughs> work out not running each other. But other than that, yeah, 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 guys, guys, Justin Allgaier, <laughs> car number seven, baby. Yeah, well, you know. Reach. For the record, I think I think in the last like three weeks I've been hit by every car in our group at least twice, yeah. maybe once, but twice. So we gotta stop. <laughs> we, got, we do. We need to get it on. We'll be all right. We'll be fine. Hey, we just if, gotta. If we share food, you know, food is like the... It's the welcoming. It's the, yeah, like it's the, the bonding. Table. Like, that's why, yeah. that's why yeah. Jesus brought all the disciples to the, oh, the round table, because he going? wanted them to all eat and feast and drink and be, you know, like... Yes. That was, that's how you bond together. It so. is exactly right. That is exactly... Man, I love that. I love it's that. very spiritual, right? Oh, man. I, mean, <laughs> I felt that, too. It's like, whoa. <laughs> all right, he's loading up these peppers. Loading them up. Then they grill for... How long? Uh, they'll probably be on there about 30 minutes. This thing gets pretty hot. It does. This grill does well, very well. So, uh, gotta get them peppers soft. Now, this might be total rookie ass, but the tin, the tin foil on the bottom for cleanliness, or is it yes. a cooking trick? Bingo. You got it. Cleanliness. Clean? Yep. Hmm. Okay. You made it look good. Are you are you the only one that cooks out? Yep. I didn't know the that only. I, am the I made only. a little walk and I didn't see nothing. <laughs> There's a couple around it, dude. Who's this subleaser coming over here trying to sublease the grill? We gotta rent it out every now and again. Are you uh, are you done with this? You got behind the truck, right? What does that look like, y'all? That looks pretty good, huh? A couple of guys want something I've never done before. Try it out. Well, try throwing an egg on there, see if it cooks. We'll, we'll just feed it to the crew chief. He'll eat it. He'll eat it regardless. He'll eat Might it. Might be over easy. <laughs> He'll eat it. Hollywood's got a gangster walk. He, it's it's yeah. not yeah. like he, the gangster walk. He's like yeah. got the like drop knee, and he's like he's like getting it. You know what I mean? We call it like the stank leg. I grew up. I grew up in in Springfield, Illinois. Uh, I grew up in farm country, which I'm. You can, you yeah. Can oh, yeah. There weren't many people walking like Not that. Not many Greg in, in the leg. Yeah. <laughs> but it is very like. Um, he's got like the. He's got the. He's got, got it down. Little... He does. You guys look at that. He does. It's like this. He called a swagger. This walk. Where's your swagger? What do you call he's got, that? He's got the so, swagger walk. So listen, this is my friend Justin Algar. You might have heard of him. I and just dropped some truth knowledge on him on their. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, you pointed something here. out that we've all missed. Yeah. And what is that? You yeah. got this walk thing you do where you kind of like you're always listening to a beat. Oh, that's from, that's from Gastonia. They teach you that in elementary school. They, <laughs> oh yeah. You know, like out in Montana, you know, like they teach y'all to walk around checking the bulls, kind of. <laughs> so it's a Gastonia thing. Yeah. Okay. I wonder what the Springfield walk is going to be. You should come up with something. You know, I, I don't know what that is. So, so my man here, my man here helped us out a little bit when we needed some help out last year. Now retired from, but he was the driver, hauler driver for the uh, wheel force car for Chevrolet. Oh, you were. Now he, he's you know, got that nice little you know, yeah, that. You better, that you better that up a little bit. You better. Moved it on up to the G56 world. Yeah, so, he's, uh, so there's hope for us, oh, drivers. Yeah. <laughs> So the sausage has a little kick to it, I noticed. Yeah, you got a mild and a hot. Mm -hmm. hot. hot. This is the hot, and it goes very well with it. So ironically, you guys, it's hotter than the seeds it's, from yeah. Big that's, a, that's bad. It's hotter than the seeds that we were trying to do the joke so, on. So now we're going to just put a lot of sausage on his thing and see if we can, <laughs> see if we can burn him out. <laughs> yeah, see if we can burn him out. This goes in my jalapenos. Okay. You might tell me how to say jalapeno. I don't know how to say it. I like your way better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Carolinian? North Carolinians. Carolinians. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the claw. <laughs> the claw. It's 
dangerous times, you guys. Hollywood has taken over the camera. But this looks just right from my very untrained eye. <laughs> my untrained apprentice eye says just right. I think, I think you got it. I never thought to squish them together like that, though. I'm always yeah. using cheese and kind of yeah. spoon it in. Yeah, that's... well, I'll, I'll use a spoon, but then I'm already dirty. So. I have a very important role when Chris tells me to open the lid now. That's what I've done by freeing myself up. It's very important. The trick's going to be that egg. Yeah. What do you think, buddy? You all right? Alabama. Hollywood says he's been in here making the perfect circles. Man, that's, you got a good, you got a good eye. Yeah. Man, look at you. How perfect does it roll out like that? I'll say it doesn't. Huh? Never seen something. Don't. Almost seemed like a machine could have cut those that perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we was pulling into the racetrack and uh, this, this old gal comes running out and she waves us, hold on, hold on. So we stop. And she's like, y'all drive that number eight? Said, yeah, yep. Oh, you know that Taylor Moore? No way. <laughs> yeah. She goes, man, he hot. I said, what it? She goes, our little, our little book club, we voted him the hottest crew chief. No, he did. Number eight, yeah. I was like, yeah, he is. Texas My club? man, <laughs> right here in Austin, Texas, no, baby. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do, that, do that actually think about Oh, baby. The man, right here. High stepping. High stepping. <laughs> man, I wish I was in that number seven crew. Hamburgers. So I, listen, there's a, there's a I'm not a real cook. I play one on TV. Like we shooting a video, so I got some hamburgers <laughs> and I'm throwing them on here. But normally I don't cook. But uh, but yeah, since, there's a camera. But involved. we got a camera out. Old damn Hollywood go to put something <laughs> on the grill. <laughs> Worst critics are the guys I work with. Uh, if you mess up on food, they do not hesitate. They'll let you know real quick. They'll kick you. They'll kick you. They'll kick you. And you're down. They're kicking you. Mm -hmm. And it's happened a few times. The old time was I was going to do a chicken pie. So I called my mom up, telling her about it. This was weeks prior. She said, yeah, you can do a chicken pie. It's going to be on a grill. She said, no way, son. You can't do it, son. It won't ride. The, the grill won't rise. I said, that's what I'm afraid of. But I'm going to try it. She said, well, you better have a backup. <laughs> so, <laughs> I did. I had like hamburgers and patty house and hamburgers. Anyway, I think it was Pocono. So I'm getting all my stuff, cut my chicken, and tore it apart. And I just used Bisquick with milk to make your duck. And you get all your, your chicken, your chicken broth, and I use a cream of chicken soup to kind of make it liquidy. And then you take that, your batter, and you just pour it. And you agree on it, it's like an oven. It rises all that crust up, so you got thick crusty crust on top of it. But she you know, she's not up with tech, you know, phones and stuff, so I took a video of it. So I had to go see her. She lives like an hour from me. I said, Mom, I'm gonna show you this video. <laughs> she said, you tried the chicken pie? I said, I did. She said, it didn't work, did it? <laughs> I said, Mama. I'm gonna show you. And she was like so amazed that this grill actually worked like an oven and cooked it from inside out. Uh -huh. And it was, the crust was just brown. It was pretty amazing. I was like, a <laughs> few months passed and somebody said, chicken pie. I think I knew chicken pie. <laughs> this is where you get kicked. <laughs> oh no, oh no, did you get humbled? Oh, oh, too no. humble. Oh no. So I'm making it, well I got it, well, I guess way too runny. And it was, didn't do nothing. The dough was just, it didn't do nothing. And it was oh, like, crap. I put it on the counter they said, what's this, chicken soup? <laughs>
I said, boys, I'm leaving. Oh. <laughs> and you probably didn't make a backup dish that I did not. <laughs> you got sandwich meat in the refrigerator, have at it. Oh. So, too juicy for it to do anything. Too juicy, like a bad night of barbecue. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. So on the flip side of that, when you do, though, create something like... You guys, by the way, ugh, I sampled and... I'm having a hard time not eating. We have to wait for the car to finish inspection. On the flip side of the lowest low, when the guys come in and they devour, yes. and you see all these race dudes just yeah. Uh, yeah. well fed, just makes them it. yeah, makes them happy. Like yes. their morale is right. So it, and, and, and that's what that's what I enjoy about cooking is always seeing you know they're eating it, they're enjoying it. It is good. Yeah. And here it's healthy. You know? This race yeah. life is to them is like trucking for us, where right. we don't. You don't. You're at the mercy of the truck stop. Truck stop. And fast food. Yeah, and you got all these preservatives in the food to keep it last longer, and it's just not. It's not good for you. Good. Taylor's big on morale, making he's, sure everybody's happy. Yep. He's, he's very big on that. Yeah. Yeah. It was. That big. What you mean, Sam? Forty. Yeah. Oh, you got one. Okay. Got the egg thing. Dude. <laughs> That's right. Get me on there, baby. I love you, Jax. I love you, Jax. <laughs> So why do you insist that Chris does this? Because the key to human performance is good fuel. <laughs> right there, straight from the crew chief's mouth. Where'd you go, dinner? Did you just get room service? Yeah, we went. Room service. If I can get it. Number okay. Oh really? Well, the only way we can tell. All right, y'all. Me and Hollywood are on a quest now. We're on a quest. We, we gotta figure out what happened to this van. The mystery is still mystery. Nobody knows, nobody got a clue. We're Finally. gonna go to where I think Daryl left it and went to the wrong spot and the van still be sitting there. Let's see if that's the case. Here's the scene of the crime, all right? Daryl parked right here, which is a fire lane. See the reds? It's a lesson to anybody. Oh, I like parking the fire lane. It looks to me like evidence shows that they hooked to it right here. Yeah. And towed it. See the. That way. See the lines? When he towed vehicles, what he towed? He told us he did, uh, Where are we at right now? Take a left. What kind of, what car was yours? It was a black, uh, or it was a gray van or some black van, dark blue van with an eight, an eight parking sticker in it. Yeah, it's up there on the top of the hill. You tow it? Yeah. Well, we're getting closer to the clues that are coming together. Hollywood is a heck of an investigator. We could have a YouTube Hollywood channel. So far, we've been out here three or four minutes. Yep. Daryl come out here, let's say 15 or 20 minutes. We are on the way to locate the van. That's right. Be back with you. Uh, you gonna hit that panic button? Yeah, give me a second. I'm trying to put that. Back his trucks. Oh! Out here in the woods. Oh. Hey, Daryl. <laughs> Look what we found. Found it. Hey, Daryl. Found the van. Again, that's what happens when you send a man to do a man's job. You get the van. Back. <laughs> we gone. Look at you back at it again. I'm back at it. Just always it's, over here. It's nothing today, not much. Just a little dicing up some tomatoes. Okay, now I saw you do this, and this has got to be a trick that a lot of people don't know about. I've never seen this in my life. Mm -hmm. not... So he's he's making these kind of tomatoes, and he does it. I always cut flat slices and then dice them. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> now, I'm gonna, now I'm going to mess up now. He's filming me. <laughs> There we go. Hold her right. You gotta hold her like a baby. Hold her like a baby. Just like that. You don't know what you're doing, you'll end up blood at the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. So uh, what's the plan here today for the mealage? I'm uh, just doing hamburgers, tacos. Okay. That's it. Well, garage opens at one, we race at five, so 
they start working, kind of messing with the guards at two, so they don't have much time to. And they kind of come and go and eat as they please. Yeah, and this way there, man, they can make them a taco and go on about their business, and they don't have to slow down too much. <laughs> I don't doubt whatever you're doing, I don't doubt it for a second. No, we got it under control. <laughs> this ain't our first fire. It won't be our last. I thought you stopped me out. No, I said you Well, that's gonna do it. That was good. I wanted to shed a little bit of light as we're getting ready to roll out. The sun is setting, but I wanted to shed a little bit of light on some of the duties that the uh, NASCAR hauler drivers have, some of the fun that they have, uh, the camaraderie, and the work that they do. There's a lot to it. It's not just simply, you know, drive and hang out. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of responsibilities both over at the track and here on the truck side. Until next time, you guys be good. I appreciate your support. Continue to follow along. We'll continue to have some fun together. Until the next NASCAR adventure, which isn't going to be for a little while, we're saying adios, Christo. I'm making a rookie move, leaving his headlights on. Ain't that something?